Honorable Speaker, I stand to oppose the finance bill. Oh yeah, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I think this is the 11th uh, finance bill that I'm participating in this house, uh, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, this is one of the most controversial finance bill I've ever seen. And, and, and there must be a reason for that. Because we have seen 11 finance bills before, for those who are with me here, and you can see the controversy it has created in the country. And we have a destiny as a parliament, Mr. Speaker, we have a date with the destiny this time, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, from the onset, I want to say that uh, when we were passing the VAT bill, the VAT on fuel in 2018, Mr. Speaker, it is on record that I am the one who brought the amendment when the proposal was brought by the executive to raise taxes from 0% to 16%, I am the one who brought the, pro the amendment to the finance bill to reduce it to 0%. And that is one thing that was agreed unanimously by the whole House. And I remember even the Speaker then, J.B. Muturi, was supposed to subject that matter to Article 114 of the Constitution. But he waived it on the floor of the House, and he said the amendment should come directly to the floor of the House. And in the end, an agreement was made in the House here that we go to 8% and not 16%. Mr. Speaker, that 16% is the poison chalice that is in this finance bill, Mr. Speaker. Once we implement the 16% on fuel levy, everything else will go up in this country, Mr. Speaker. Let us not hide ourselves. Let us not uh, close our eyes on reality. Let us be truthful to Kenyans. Let us not accept that I'm told the proposal might be from IMF, from where. Let us not care. This House must stand together and stand with the people of Kenya because we must make life bearable for them. That is our work. That's why they elected for us. Secondly, can I tell the majority leader that the housing levy that he has alluded to in the Azimio Manifesto is completely different from what is on this, money, on this finance bill, Mr. Speaker. Our housing levy was modeled in according, accordance with the Singapore model where we were supposed to collect money cheaply, affordably, in a manner that is bearable to the people of the Republic of Kenya, Mr. Speaker. Not this one of collecting through the nose, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I participated in the, when they were formulating the Azimio Manifesto. But uh, Mr. Speaker, it is completely different. It is like day and night. Let us, don't use the Azimio Manifesto as an example. If we were allowed to, to donate that Azimio Manifesto to you, every Kenyan today will be happy and will be supporting this, this bill, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I want to say this, that let us be careful as members of parliament, because Kenyans are looking up to this house. This bill was prepared by the executive. But it is the House that has the final say on it, Mr. Speaker. That is why they say there is no taxation without representation. That is why we are here to safeguard the interests of the public. So don't be cheated that when this House passes the bill, the executive will wash their hands on us. They will say it is Parliament that passed the bill. It's not them. I can assure you that. You wait until it is passed. Let us scrutinize this bill properly. Let us make sure that it is passed in a manner that is for the well-being of the people of Kenya. Mr. Speaker, we are discussing here big projects, housing, you know, we are discussing many big things, roads, flyovers, and everything. People of Kenya today, Mr. Speaker, are discussing food. They are discussing what to eat, how to clothe, and how to take their children to school, Mr. Speaker. Let us not speak to them like the famous uh, French uh, queen, what was her name? And, and, Mr. Speaker, can you help me? Antoinette Ma Antoinette Mariette. The woman, the lady who said when her people were hungry and they were asking for bread, they, 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 they told the, she told the people, you can serve them with cake. Mr. Speaker, let us not go that direction. Let us serve Kenyans with food so that they can go to school. They can go to bed when they are, when, when they are not hungry, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, in conclusion, I want to say, this bill is going now to the third reading. We have a chance to rectify this bill as a house. Let us not be pushed to a corner whether you're in Kenya Kwanzaa, whether you're in Azimio, let us not be pushed by a, to a corner by the authors of the bill. Let us file ranks, to get, let us come together, let us scrutinize this bill close by close and remove the ones that are offensive and oppressive and we pass the ones which are not oppressive. But if we want to do it the way other bills were done before here, which I don't want to repeat the same mistakes, the people...